Hi guys and welcome back or welcome for the first time if you're uh, just popped onto the channel and uh, appreciate you uh, watching the video. Uh, trying something a little bit different today or actually last night uh, I set up my uh, a new camera uh, on the telescope uh, running in prime and I'll explain the uh, video in a second here. Um, so using the laptop I uh, was able to uh, uh, sit uh, here in my little office uh, uh, remotely uh, watching the, the moon and being able to control it through the uh, Wi-Fi using my phone and of course using TeamViewer to uh, actually uh, control the, uh, the laptop and the video capture. So um, using the, uh, the next image 5 camera um, was actually quite nice. Um, some of the video uh, worked out really well and uh, what I was doing here on the screen is basically uh, capturing about 25-30 uh, seconds worth of video and at the end uh, I basically stacked the frames using uh, Registax 6.1 and uh, come up with uh, a fairly clear image and uh, I'm very impressed with it it does work well uh, I like the end result and certainly looking forward to uh, putting some close-up shots I mean really close-up shots into the uh, the system like this turned out you know quite quite well uh, you can see quite a bit of the detail um, and uh, I'm, I'm happy with uh, the results. So it's uh, kind of a unique situation, I guess, uh, you know, being able to control it remotely and um, being able to capture the video. So uh, Registack 6 um, actually uses the, the AVIs that are generated by um, the, uh, the software from the next image camera and uh, uh, stacks the, uh, the frames and it uh, is fairly selective it uses probably uh, out of five or six hundred frames it uses about uh, 100 to 120 um, actual images and uh, aligns those properly and then um, comes out with um, uh, what I call a static image uh, non-moving image um, luckily last night the uh, the atmosphere was fairly decent as you can see during the uh, the video run it's um, not bad at all there's not that much movement and then the uh, resultant picture is, is quite uh, crisp and quite clear um, so uh, for, for me it's it's good results um, we, we did have uh, before I bought the uh, the camera I did read some of the reviews and I did find uh, quite a few negative reviews about the camera online and I was a little hesitant um, and I think it's just the way that the guys were trying to set them up or per perhaps not reading the instructions properly um, but as you can see on screen the the results are, are decent uh, you know those shots for for me I think uh, um, you know they're they're like I said before they're nice and crisp and clear um, and Registax cleans everything right up um, you know takes out some of that atmospheric distortion so uh, just looking at it it's fantastic um, did want to throw another shout out shout out out there uh, for Gary from uh, uh, 24 7 live AZ uh, 360 panoramic and the uh, reason I want to do that is actually he actually has the same camera that I've got here and he had never used it um, till just recently he started using it and it was kind of funny that uh, after I told him which one I purchased that's when he realized that was the same camera he had so um, he's getting some fairly decent results running live on his channel uh, showing the moon and um, you know I've got some fairly decent results here um, you know recording the uh, the AVIs and then uh, stacking it using the Registack 6.1 so all in all um, 
for those people who have actually you know said that negative things about the camera and like I said before I'm, I'm not sure what uh, what the issues were that they were having um, for me uh, everything seemed to be turning out quite well um, you know you can see the, uh, the the actual footage isn't bad um, from the, the, the live video and then uh, once it gets into the actual uh, frame of the, uh, the, the, the still frame um, excellent pictures as far as I'm concerned and like I said, um, I'm going to be trying some zoomed in shots in the future, um, pending time, of course. So uh, I want to see some of the landing sites for um, like uh, uh, looking at this one on the screen right now. Uh, comes to, uh, Apollo 11 and Apollo 17 come to mind uh, since they would be right in the middle of that screen. Um, so anyway. Uh, won't hold it up and gonna say thank you very much for watching take care guys all the best stay safe keep looking up and clear skies bye for now